So you might be trying to figure out how you can use a calculator on your iPad. Now, luckily for you, there's a few different ways to do this. For one, if you don't want to download anything, you just need a quick way to kind of calculate some things, you can always make a way over to your internet browser. In this case, I'm going to Google Chrome, and you can just search up on Google Calculator, just like how I've done it here, and you can literally just use their built-in calculator on Google. It's actually pretty decent. So if you wanted to do 100 minus 22, whatever it is, whatever it is, I just typed in, well, you can go and do some pretty fast math like this. You can go and multiply whatever you want to do. And it's a pretty decent calculator. It's not better than the stock iOS one, but it definitely gets the job done for the most part. Now, if you don't want to go down this direction or that's not good enough, what you can always do is you can download another calculator application from your app store. So what you can do is you can search up on the app store like this, calculator, just like how I've done it here, and you'll be able to find a ton of different calculator applications. Now, the one that I downloaded and I've used before is this calculator pad edition. So it's kind of like a calculator app specifically built for the iPad in mind, which is kind of nice, but you can use any of these. You know, I'm not just saying download that one. Try all of them out. See which one you have. This one has way more, you know, reviews. So maybe this one's better. I don't know. But essentially, I just use this one. So once it's downloaded, you will see that once you go ahead and actually install it, it's a pretty decent looking calculator and it looks almost identically the same thing as the other stock calculator we used before. So now if you want, they have ads at the bottom, but you can go ahead and, you know, multiply, do the same thing. And it's pretty good. It's very, very fast. And I will say for the most part, it's a pretty decent looking calculator too. So those are basically two or three different calculators that you can use on your iPad. It's very, very basic. And that's pretty much how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I'll have every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.